All right, let's do, let's do, we're gonna we're gonna do the intro one more time. Yeah, what? dude, this is money, but let's just. Hey guys, this is Ruffle with Ruffle Racing. Welcome to the channel again. We are at Coda once again. We were here just two weeks ago. Had a great time. This time, I want to take the time to actually show you guys around the rig that we got. It's a six seven car hauler. Is a Kentucky XL 53 foot hauler. Last time we kind of showed you some footage of it. Didn't really make it a highlight or really show it. So I want to take this moment to go ahead and showcase the piece of work that this guy is. Just incredible. Go thousands of miles with us and really take the cars safely all around the country. The hauler fits six, seven cars. It has two levels. Um, it doesn't have the uh, tool and some of the uh, lounge things that some of the other ones have, but this is truly intended to be a car hauler. We actually travel with the team with an actual support trailer as well, where all the tools, all the uh, spares and tires and everything uh, are in. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what the trailer is all about and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So as you guys can see, uh, it's got a long ramp on the bottom. Obviously the second ramp on the top, the lift goes up and meets the, the ramp so we can pull the cars out. It's got all these hydraulics to keep the cars uh, from bouncing up and down. The trailer itself is actually designed to haul race cars and low profile cars. So unlike some of these stacker uh, lifts that you see on the road where they're actually exposed and the cars are bouncing around everywhere, this was actually designed to keep the cars planted with the hydraulics and, and just the way that it's, it's designed. Again, it's absolutely stunning. It's got the wood, the wood grain, the red, the black exterior, extremely, extremely well uh, built. It's at least six, seven foot tall, so you can actually fit SUVs on it. Um, but right now we've actually set it to the settings that are actually perfect for hauling the type of cars and the amount of cars we're hauling. So it'll fit almost any, absolutely any sports car clearly because everything is usually four feet or, or so. Uh, but it's very spacious. It's got a lot of access points with uh, the side windows so that you can do tie downs uh, and access the cars to where you can. Here it has a large opening so any other cars that actually have doors that open up is easier to access and get out as well. Just in general, the entire trailer is um, just, like, again, like I said, really well built, very organized, easy to haul the cars. Plenty of clearance to work around the trailer for the guys that are hauling for us, tie down the cars. So, I'm up on this ladder, not sure exactly what it does, but apparently this is how you get in to the second floor <laughs> to, to access the cars. So as you guys can see, the exterior of it is in black. Uh, the Rafa Racing Club itself is going to be much larger uh, by the time it's said and done. Uh, we want to do a QR code where people can actually scan it and follow us. All that good stuff to actually create more noise with the trailer. The trailer actually has the ability to go up and down and lift a, a couple of feet difference between the highest setting and the lowest setting if we need to actually get some more clearance uh, because as you can see it has the lower clearance versus typically a hauling or an 18 wheeler that has a flat bed this actually drops down to be able to get the cars in at a lower ramp level in the rear so the truck itself is a Peterbilt 579 absolutely stunning it's got the sleeper bed like the whole cabin in there for our, our drivers to be able to spend the night on the road at some point we're going to put some decals on it as well maybe on the hood on the sides so I'll show you guys the inside. It's actually my first time ever stepping inside of it. All right, so this is my first time actually, I think ever stepping in an 18 wheeler or in, into a big truck like this. Uh, this looks incredible. It's just super spacious. I actually like it a lot. He has obviously the bed here, um, TV mounted on this side, which you can't see right now, but if you come around, uh, you'll be able to see the TV. Uh, it has some storage. Yeah, it's like a mini dorm in here. Uh, it's actually pretty incredible. So. This is as nice of a truck as you can actually get. Uh, and I just didn't want to really um, take the risk of buying something that was old or used. This is a 2022 Peterbilt 579. It's good to actually have full control of it. I got some quotes to haul cars around and the cost of hauling the type of cars that we haul around is actually just extremely expensive. So it just made more sense because of the amount of trips we're gonna be doing to actually just do it all in house and be part of the team, part of the club. So really happy to have it, uh, excited to be hauling cars around. And yeah, hopefully you guys get to appreciate the truck as much as we do. All right, so that's it for this episode, guys. That was a quick just showing you what the truck and the trailer is all about. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, we're really excited. It's a great tool to have to get around. I, as I mentioned, we can get six, seven cars around. I know that our drivers are really happy. You know, We want to make sure that everybody gets the best sort of treatment. So I wanted to make sure that I got one of the best trailers that you could get. So um, hopefully you guys like it. As always, please hit the subscribe button, notifications, tell your friends and your family. See you next time.